session of the last day, which will be on crypto analysis of authenticated encryption schemes. It will contain three papers. The first one is Crypto Analysis of Roca and Feasibility of its Security Claim by Akinori Hosei Yamada, Akiko Inoue, Ryoma Ito, Tetsu Iwata, Kazuhiko Minematsu, Ferdinand Sibleras, and Yosuke Todo. And once again, Yosuke will give the talk. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction and uh, thank you for coming uh, the last uh, so last uh, Friday morning talk so after the banquet. So maybe. Uh, Last day, so I think uh, everyone drink much. So I think you enjoy. So I'm not sure the how many people come in the Beijing venue. So <laughs> the, I want to talk the, this one. So crypto analysis of local and the feasibility of its security claim. Okay, so the this is overview. Yeah, Loka uh, was proposed at the Sakamoto et al. at FSE last year. So Loka is AED and AES based AED, and the purpose is the was a beyond 5G system. So the security claim is interesting. So 256 bit security against key recovery and distinguishing attacks, and 128 bit security against the forgery attack. So you mean you, so actually these two security two attacks. So that we. Uh, they claim the unbalanced bit security. So we have two contributions. The first one is we first break the security claim of Roca. So Roca claims the 256-bit security against key recovery, but we show the attack uh, to recover the secret key with a complexity of 2 to the 128. And another attack is, uh, no, no, another contribution is uh, exploring the feasibility of the original security claim of Roca. So originally they claim the unbalanced bit security, but we now discuss the feasibility and infeasibility results about uh, this uh, unbalanced bit security. Okay, so the, let's start the main, so the spec first specification of Roca. Okay, so the Roca is AES-based AAD proposed that last year FSE. So the ASNI and the symmetry friendly design. So if uh, we use a uh, uh, high-end software, so it achieves super ultra high speed and there's so over 100 gigabps. Original security claim is like this, the so unbalanced one. But uh, before our publications and uh, after the publication of the, their post paper, so they updated the uh, ePrint uh, e versions. And uh, indistinguishability security is downgraded from 256 bits to 128 bit. But uh, so the, in our talks, so we focus on the, this. Uh, after that, we focus on the, this uh, unbalanced bit security. Yep. OK, so the, this is the structure of Roca. So Roca is online permutation-based AAD. So first, uh, nonce and 128-bit uh, nonce and 256-bit secret key is uh, initial state and uh, this initial state is updated by the uh, round function 20 times by while involving the round constant Z0, Z1. So after initialization, we absorb the two 128-bit associated data every round functions. And after absorbing everything, uh, we encrypt the message like this. And after encrypting, and then finally they update the uh, internal state by using the round function 20 times again, then it outputs a tag. So this is a round function. So the R is this. Okay, so the first uh, internal state of the local is eight, 100, eight 128-bit states. And uh, this internal state is updated by four AES round functions and X, uh, eight exclusive OR. So by using AES-NI, so the aes -NC operations and the exclusive OR operation is enough to compute this uh, networks. And also to encrypt the message, so we uh, also use the AES round functions here and here and uh, generate the key stream and uh, Encrypt the message and uh, so get, get, uh, generate the ciphertext. So one interesting part of the LOCA is unbalanced security, unbalanced bit security. So first, 
uh, Roca claim 256-bit key recovery security and 128-bit tag. So we focus on this unbalancedness and by exploiting this uh, part, so we propose a key recovery attack with the complexity of the two to the tag length. So two to the 128. So another interesting part, so the, but the, this part is downgraded after the, in the, they are updated version, but the original version say 256-bit in the security and 128-bit tag. So we consider the security definitions and uh, so shows the feasibility and infeasibility result. Okay, so first part is the tag. So local frames this unbalanced bit of security, but what is the issue? So now let's consider a very simple, super simple attack. So now we have, we are attackers. We just query to the NCT1 to the decryption oracle. Of course, the decryption oracle answer may be bot. It's an invalid cipher text. But then, so the, okay, so the next, we change the tag. Then uh, query to the decryption oracle again, maybe answer the bot. But as we just repeat as a two to the one hundred twenty eight bit candidates of the tag. But of course, as a, during this repetition, we always get one answer, plain text P. So attacker can query to the one hundred twenty eight non CTI and get the P with a lower than to the one hundred twenty eight com complexity. So of course, it uh, in this attack never invalidates the uh, forgery attack uh, level, but uh, so the key recovery security is the 256 bits. So the, it's a no problem for the key recovery attack. So this attack. So first attacker can, attacker query to the nonsense plain text and gets the ciphertext T. Then, okay, so the next attacker, so inputs the ciphertext, ciphertext difference delta out and the query to the decryption oracle by changing the tag. And this is a query to the two to the 128 times, then we get uh, some plain text. As a result, attacker can get valid PC pair, NPCT, and NP plus delta, C plus delta T with a complexity of two to the 128 and chosen delta. So, what do we learn from this? So, LOCA is nonce based AAD. So when we design nonce-based AED, so that we can eliminate attack using the PC pair with the same nonce because we cannot correct such PC pair by using the encryption oracle. But now local claims unbalanced bit, unbalanced security claims, unbalanced security, then what we can correct such a pair by using the decryption oracle by querying to the, to the uh, tag length. Then, so tau is uh, lower than security level. So we must care about such attack. So that even if, okay, so the, our cipher is non based only, non misuse is out of claim. Even if we say, if, even if designers say like this, we need to care about it. So the case of the locker is like this. So the locker say non respecting only. So designer doesn't consider the attack using the PC pair with the same nonce. So we do it. Okay, so the first, now we have uh, two pairs with the same nonce. So now nonce is the same. So the internal state of the uh, beginning is the same. And we have, we input the output difference here. So yellow byte is a, a non-zero difference. And uh, we know this difference. And so the, this difference goes to here and blah, 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 here and here. So now we focus on this AS round function. So from this, so that we know this input difference and also that we compute the output difference. We know the output difference by observing the difference of the here, uh, message here. So then uh, known difference and the known difference and the S box. So then due to the property of the AES, we can get uh, two or four candidates. Okay, so that by using this idea, so that we just, uh, Okay, we now difference here and the propagate blah, 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 blah. Then after that, uh, so the, uh, the, these yellow, yellow bytes are known, zero, uh, yellow bytes are known difference and the gray bytes are unknown difference. 
But uh, so we have uh, five, so it's a bit difficult to look at. So A, B, C, D, E here. These five A surround functions, we know input and output differences. So we can reduce the number of candidates of the each 128-bit state to the two to the 60 candidates with high probability. So under step-by-step -step procedure, requires the four of internal state with a complexity of the two to the 64, but the two to the 64 is not so practical. So now we want to improve that complexity by using a meter in the middle at the idea. So, okay, so a bit, it's a bit difficult to look at, but now we want to compute this S25, uh, one column of the S25 in the two method. So fast, so we know this, 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 uh, uh, eight, no, uh, 12 bytes, and that this 12 bytes candidate uh, is reduced to the two to the eight, so that the computing like this, and also the red part is like this, and that's so that check the meet in the middle. So the two to the eight candidates and two to the 20 candidates, and with 32 bit matching, so we can reduce, uh, uh, we can get the correct one, so with high probability. So this is the experimental result, so that I, of course, this attack is uh, practical, so I, we implemented this attack. As a result, so that with two to the 20 time complexity, the success probability is almost half. So, but if by using the two to the 26 or two to the 25 attack time complexity, so the access probability is almost one. Okay, so the possible countermeasure. So the issue is, uh, so, so internal state recovery is possible, but uh, so the, so original local doesn't involve the secret key here. So even so after the recovery is see, okay, so that after secret, after recovering the internal state, so it's a very easy to compute the backward and the, get the secret key. So this is the issue. So we just involve the secret key after the initialization. So we can uh, invalidate our attack. And we also recommend the secret key should be uh, excerpt before the finalizations because of the fan uh, nancy is misused. So our attack is practical. And uh, it means the so fan nancy misuse setting. Uh, so the local is local arrows uh, universal forgery attack with practical time complexity. So as we we think as it's not so good, so that we should uh, recommend the uh, uh, secret key excelling before as a finalization. Okay, so the another, another result is the uh, validity of the security claim. So the original, okay, so the next topic is this one, 256-bit indistinguishability security and 128-bit tag. So we, okay, so the originally local claims this uh, security, unbalanced bit of security, but of course the, we show the attack. So local neighbor satisfy the security claim, of course. So key recovery is uh, break everything. But uh, still, the following question is theoretical interest. So is 256-bit indistinguishability achievable for any AEAD with relatively short 128-bit tax? So that means that, uh, so it's possible or not. So the local claim it, but in general, it's possible or not. So we think it's a very important question because we are cryptographers so that we know uh, the security definition very well. But uh, so that maybe AED user never, never so that don't don't know the never knows the uh, such a security uh, consideration. So they may truncate the tag with that careful consideration. So because intuitively, as a tag truncation affects the forgery security, so that they maybe don't uh, consider the indistinguishability security. So, but uh, and also the AED user must truncate. Due to the narrow bandwidth and or storage restrictions, so we want to truncate. So, but uh, can we truncate the tag of AAD without too much impact on the indistinguishability security? So, usually, so that when we discuss the AAD security, so that we sometimes use this unified A security. So, this is a security game. So, the real is encryption oracle and decryption oracle. And the idea is a Dara and bot. And so, that we want to distinguish two words. But of course, there is a trivial attack so that because just the query to the decryption oracle to the t times. So we always uh, distinguish these two words. 
So the if we use this security definition, so that we never we it's a pos impossible to satisfy such unbiased bit security. So another solution, but uh, we change the uh, uh, security goals so the, from uh, unified AE security to in the CCA. Then, uh, but uh, Mustafa's last FSE paper said uh, online AED cannot achieve more than TBT in the CCA security again. So it's uh, impossible. So local also online AED, AED so it's uh, impossible to achieve such a, uh, so unbalanced bit security. So now we show the some, one feasible result, but uh, it's a, not so practical. <laughs> so we need uh, uh, each other is a TBC with a 256-bit input, 256-bit output, and 256-bit tweaks. And, the, and we use the encode Zen and Cypher scheme. So encryption is a uh, concatenation of the all zero to the M. And the decryption after decrypting, and we check uh, V is zero or not. So this type AED is so that we can say 256-bit indistinguishability security, but for JD security, it's a 128-bit. So it's a uh, possible. But uh, if we want to get uh, such unbalanced security, we need this scheme. So currently, okay. So that this I conclude my talk. So first, I we propose the attack, uh, break the security uh, key recovery. Uh, we break the key recovery security claim of blocker. And so we also show the validity of the security claim, but uh, encode the sci-fi is a feasible solution, but uh, not so practical. So more practical solution is open question. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Yosuke, for the talk. Are there any questions here in Kobe? There is one. Thank you for a very nice talk. So I have a question about the definition of um, non-free use because I was my understanding was at least for GCM, for example, people only consider non-free use in the encryption, but in the decryption was allowed. So did the Roca uh, paper redefine re non-free use, or how is the definition exactly? So. Our attack doesn't reduce uh, nonce to the encryption worker. So, uh, so we, we, we don't sell uh, use the nonce to the decryption worker. So that maybe, sorry, so that I'm, I'm not so perfectly understand the question maybe. So <laughs> but we can discuss offline, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Thank you. Uh, just to comment, uh, for a decryption oracle, we do reuse uh, nonces, and we just assume that we can reuse the nonce for the decryption oracle. And uh, this uh, reflects the reality where the, the decryption devices does not uh, remember all the past nonces that have that it received. So I think it's a plausible uh, assumption that we can reuse the nonce for the decryption, decryption oracle. Yeah. I have a question. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, do you have any comments on the, sh the problem with short tech? Is it really a serious problem in practice? I mean, if it's also for AGS 256, indeed the designers also know this type of attack, but they say, it, I mean, because the initialization is a key permutation, so it says no problem to recover the key after the state is now. But, uh, I mean, any comments on the, I mean, the, the problem of short tech in practice. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so I think, mm, yeah, of course, there's a one. So it's a very difficult question. So now, so the uh, local want to design the high throughput, so the super high speed uh, AED, then this uh, lambda function should be sparse. Otherwise, uh, then, so we cannot, uh, so the, we use the sponge, then we never get uh, such a, so a super high speed uh, so encryption. Then maybe then, so the finance is misused. So it's a very difficult to avoid the state recovery attack, I think. But yeah, so, yeah, I think this uh, this type of countermeasure should be necessary. So therefore, uh, 
Yeah, so the I think it, yeah, so currently so the it's a bad thing is that targeting is uh, lower than security level, so that we can break the security claim. But uh, so that even if the target is length is equal to the key length, so non-misuse security is something important so in practice. So I think so this is just my comment. So that this uh, this countermeasure should be necessary. Thank you very much. Okay. Are there some other questions? Are there some questions in Beijing? If there is none, then let's thank Yosuke again. Beijing. Is it real? It's in Beijing. Ah. Okay, so the second part of this session will be on practical attacks on full run fleet by Senpeng Wang, Deng Guofeng, Bin Hu, Jie Guan, Tai Rong Shi, and uh, the talk will be given by Senpeng. Uh, thanks for the introduction. My name is Senpeng Wang. I'm honored to talk our work, practical attacks on full run fleet. My presentation includes the following five parts. Uh, the first one, uh, we will introduce the Frit. Frit is an authenticated encryption scheme with protein fault detection mechanism proposed at Eurocrypt 2020. And uh, the cool uh, permutation used in Frit is Frit P, is shown in the right part. And uh, uh, the state size is four lamps, and every lamp is uh, 128 bitters. And uh, uh, the lamps uh, uh, A, B, and C, D. The round function of uh, 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 freight P will, will iterate the round function 24 numbers. And uh, the run function of the P have slash wise coding uh, bidding property, which means that A X O B X O B C A uh, equals D in place that A apostrophe X O B apostrophe uh, X O C apostrophe equals D uh, apostrophe. Faults will be detected if the arm uh, doesn't have coding bidding uh, uh, property. When the input state has a coding, a bidding property. Uh, we we know that the value of D can be determined by A, B, and C. Thus, if we ignore the uh, lamp D, uh, we will get a new uh, permutation denoted, denoted as free to PC. And since the distinguish for free to PC directly translates to a distinguish for free to P, we focus on uh, Frida PC only. Frida PC has only four operations, a rotation, uh, XOR, XOR constraints, and AND. Bitwise AND is the only non-layer operations. If we effectively uh, control the propagation of difference on the layer mask through bitwise AND uh, operations, we can obtain pair of difference with high probabilities and the layer marks with high correlations. As a second, we will give a differential distinguish for full round free PC. 
uh, because the rotation XOR XOR constants are layer operations, uh, the different uh, uh, differential property of a uh, valid uh, pair of difference. Uh, a valid, it means that the difference is not zero. Uh, for the for this uh, layer operations is one. Thus, we only introduce the uh, differential property of and a uh, light Z uh, equals X and B beyond and function for the input difference alpha beta of X, Y and the output difference gamma of Z. Then the differential probability can be counted as the following equations. Uh, for the first case, if uh, not alpha and not beta and the gamma equals zero in, zero in means that uh, it's uh, n bit vector whose every binary entries are all zero. And in this case, uh, the properties of our beta to gamma is uh, negative of high mean weight of alpha or beta uh, power of two. And that's the differential property of a valid pair of difference for bitwise and operations is determined by the weight of alpha or beta. Uh, by fixing the input difference of and operations uh, to zero, uh, we can have the following lemmas. The differential property of difference alpha beta gamma uh, to alpha alpha strophe and beta alpha strophe gamma alpha strophe for the round function of free the PC uh, is one if and only if the following conditions are satisfied. Then, uh, based on number one, uh, for full round free the PC, we can obtain a differential distinguish with property one in order to have readers understand the distinguish uh, better. We show it in the right part of. Uh, we can, from the Distinguish, we can know that the input difference and the output difference are the same. It's an iterative differential distinguish. And the input difference and output difference of and, and the functions are all zero. That means that the differential property is one. Thus, we can link, uh, uh, link this uh, one round uh, differential distinguish uh, one by one, and uh, for any round uh, uh, free to PC, we can give uh, a differential uh, distinguish with property one. The second, uh, the third part is a layer distinguish for full round free to PC, uh, similar to differential uh, distinguish, uh, because uh, this, these three operations are all layer operations. So the layer correlations of a valid pair of landmarks for these operations is one or not one, negative one. So the layer property of and uh, is uh, when the alpha and beta uh, be the input uh, layer mask of x, y, and the gamma be the layer mask of z, then the uh, layer correlations of alpha, beta, and gamma is that if gamma O uh, not not alpha and not beta equals uh, one, one n, one n means that it's a n bit uh, vector whose every binary entries are all zero. Then uh, its layer correlations is the negative I mean weight of uh, gamma power of two. Otherwise, the their uh, cor correlations is zero. Thus, uh, we can know that the layer correlations of uh, valid pair of landmarks uh, for bitwise operations is uh, determined uh, determined by the out output layer marks of gamma. Then uh, we fix the output layer marks of uh, and operations uh, to one, we have the following lemmas. I like to uh, tau in and tau out be the input and output ma mask of the S round function. Uh, the absolute value of correlation uh, 
and Tao Yin and Tao is one if one if and only if the following uh, conditions are satisfied. Uh, according to lemma uh, three, we will obtain a layer distinguished for foreign free PC whose able solute uh, value of correlations is one. We show the proposition of it through one round free PC in the right part. Uh, similar to differential distinguish uh, the input and output layer masks are uh, are same and it's also an iterative layer distinguish. So we can uh, extend it to any round of free PC. The fourth is practical uh, attacks on four round free TE. Uh, when uh, free P is used in authenticated encryption screen, free TE is obtained. Free TE have five parts, absolute key, absolute nodes, absolute associated data, encrypt, encrypt the plain text and generate a uh, tag. And the uh, round function F is the full round free PC. And uh, every input data was slapped into uh, a blocks of 128 bitters. And uh, uh, the last uh, input may be shorter. I take key, uh, I will serve key as example. K0 may, uh, K0 is, is uh, 128 bitters. And uh, we will add uh, one bit zero row and uh, one bit one after eight and uh, zero as Tori is means that we will add uh, zero uh, at a vector uh, whose uh, every binary inference are all zero into the uh, whole, uh, the whole uh, vectors uh, belong to uh, to uh, three lamps and uh, because the differential property of this dating ish over the full round free PC uh, in the picture is F uh, is R, R1. And thus we can introduce difference into key nonce associated data and uh, plain text. Uh, for example, if we intro insert a difference uh, into the Nonce zero, and uh, if if after eight we didn't uh, introduce any uh, distinguish the internal uh, uh, the difference of the internal states uh, will be all the same because the uh, differential property is one. Thus, we can get uh, valid subtext and uh, valid attack uh, from the difference. Thus, uh. Uh, that's this breaks the claims for uh, integrity and configurability of uh, uh, fit AE. Conclusions and future work. Uh, differential and large distinguish for full round free PC are proposed. Uh, there, uh, there are some per perverse uh, uh, distinguish, but they uh, didn't threat the security of uh, uh, fit AE. And our uh, distinguish will work for any rounds free the PC. That means that our distinguish cannot uh, be avoided by adding uh, the wrong number of free the uh, free the PC is a uh, structure uh, distinguish. And using the uh, differential distinguish with property one, we propose I algorithm which can generate a set consisting of valid tags and separate tags which are not created by legal users. This breaks the integrity and configure potentiality uh, security claim of free to e. Future work our take in this paper doesn't uh, recover the uh, security security case of free to e, how to give a key recovery a case. Uh, needs further research. Uh, thanks for your attention. Thanks for your talk. Are there any questions in Beijing?
Yeah, there is a question from Beijing. Uh, that's your interesting talk. And do you have some suggestion to repair the fry A? Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, we think that if we add a uh, rotation operation uh, after the run functions uh, uh, of the four lamps, if we, for example, if we uh, rotation the four lamps uh, to the left or right, I, I, I because uh, and the, the layer data English and the uh, uh, Differential distinguish uh, will not be integrative uh, distinguish. We think uh, this may be uh, a wide our take. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions in Beijing? Any questions in Kobe? Can I have one question? <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Uh, Thanks for your interesting talk. So indeed, after I first read your talk, I saw maybe my work on low MC came to my mind because after seeing the structure of the this cipher, it's just like a partial nonlinear layer, right? The, I mean, there are many rotations and the shift like eight x o. We can just view it as a very large uh, uh, linear transform. It's a matrix then. Uh, we only the the only I cannot remember the size of a so only a part part of the state goes through the internal uh, the Xbox then we compute then uh, for example if we consider uh, like what malicious low MC I mean the back doors like low MCM they indeed construct uh, like a, a weak matrices such that uh, the difference can preserve for long runs. I mean, I think this is, I think this one problem is caused by the, I mean, it is the, the linear layer is decomposed in many, many some notations like this. Have you considered to you to dis, to interpret your attack with an algebraic perspective? I think I think it's easy because you just <laughs> If you know some attacks on low MC, I don't know. Uh, sorry, I. <laughs> okay, so. So, how we. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think the question was uh, whether this could be applied to other ciphers with a partial nonlinear uh, layer. I, no. uh, sorry, I didn't get your, your questions. So would this kind of, of techniques be applicable to other ciphers with partial nonlinear layers, such as low MC and in some cases some backdoored cipher where? I mean, so I, my main problem is here. You can just say this is indeed a partial nonlinear construction. You can see, right? Uh, is it right? It's a partial nonlinear. I mean, only a partial partial state is updated by the Xbox. So you can see the end operation as the nonlinear operation. So, and the remaining B and C is just passing through directly. They did not go through the uh, nonlinear operation. Then, for example, if we use the algebra technique as my crypto paper, we can construct, I mean, to construct a probability one uh, differential trail, we can only ensure the difference to the nonlinear operation is always zero. For example, for this construction, we need to add, uh, for example, for the first one, we need to add, suppose the length of A is N, we need to add two N equations. Uh, and then in the second one, we need to add two N equations. And now we have four N equations, but indeed there are only three N variables. In, so ideally there should be no such a solution to this equation system. But now there is the main problem is I mean it's the 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 the, the weakness of the uh, linear layer and this is indeed what is used in the malicious low MC, I mean low MCM the 
in their construction. Maybe if you, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this line of research. Uh, uh, I, I think that's the, uh, the, uh, the, the distinguish exists. Uh, I mean, that uh, um, the lamp B and C and uh, in the lamp A, B and C, and uh, they should, uh, they should satisfy the, uh, this will satisfy the coding abating property. So, and um, this, uh, you ought to keep this property maybe uh, some uh, weeks, and some weeks uh, exist. So, uh, uh, if, uh, if we change the structure, we have to keep uh, this uh, coding abating uh, abiding property. So, um, if there are other uh, uh, better uh, structure exists, and uh, it's uh, it's a question, and uh, uh, we cannot uh, uh, guarantee that if we. Uh, Change the structure is uh, it's massive or and uh, have code abandoning property, so um, it need, needs uh, further research, I think. Okay, thank you for your answer. Okay, is there, is there any one last question? If none, then uh, let's thank Sim again. The last talk of this session is revisiting the extension of Matsui's algorithm one to linear health application to Tiny Jambu by Ms. Hu Li, Niki Muha, Ling Sun, and Meikin Wang. And Ms. Hu will give the talk. Thanks for the introduction. Good morning, everyone. It's an honor for me to present our paper here. Our work revisited the extension of Matsui's algorithm one to linear health, and we applied it to Tiny Jambu. I'll talk from these five aspects. At first, let's see our motivation and contribution. Linear cryptanalysis was originally proposed by Mazui. A strong linear approximation with high correlation in this form is often used. Uh, with this relation, Mazui proposed two different algorithms to recover key bits. However, both algorithms rely on the assumption that uh, only one strong tree is contained in this linear ha. To take the linear ha effect into consideration, Roque and Nebuch extended algorithm one. As we all know, the correlation of the linear ha actually varies with the key. So the whole key space can be divided into several disjoint key classes. So when we, after we collect n data encrypted under the uh, unknown red key, one can use a decision function data to, de to, make a, uh, to decide which key class the red one lies in. However, data may make mistakes. So uh, the relation between 
data n, uh, the number of data complexity n and the error probability p should be depicted accurately. However, their, their experiments show that uh, this is not the case. We revisited their work and found that such inaccuracy comes from the methodology of, this, of deducing this relation. Besides, for samples where only part of the states can be obtained, algorithm one seems to be more suitable than algorithm two. So we are motivated to study the extension of Mazui's algorithm one. In our work, we adopted a new methodology. With our new methodology, we can reduce this absolute error into at most 2%, while in previous, it's more than 90%. With our new statistical models, we mount key recovery attacks on Tanjianbu. Tanjianbu was designed by Wu and Huang. Before our key recovery attack, there is only one key recovery attack proposed by Teng et al. However, their, work, uh, their attack can only works for the first version and uh, k-bit 128, and only one k-bit uh, has been recovered. With our method, we can recover, uh, we can recover at most, uh, we, with our method, we can recover at least seven k-bits, and our work can be suitable for all king lists. So our work are the first predictive analysis results in the non-respecting setting on the full tangent v1 and the round reduced tangent v2. Okay, firstly, okay, uh, let's briefly recall the previous extension of Mazui's algorithm one. As I have just mentioned, the key space can be divided into several disjoint key classes according to the correlation of its linear half. Assume the red key key star belongs to the GS key class. Then after we collect, after we collect n data encrypted under this red key, we can compute the value of the statistic t, and then we use the decision function data to, uh, to make decisions. The error, probab uh, uh, the error probability, PIG, denotes the probability that when the red key class is the GIS key class, however, the data function chooses i. So by summing all these PIG together, we can get the total error probability when the GIS key class is the red key class. To theoretically evaluate N, Roque and Nierberg proposed the PE, which is the average, uh, average error probability over all keys as the final total error probability. To mount valid attacks, the relation between N and PE should be depicted accurately. Okay, let's see their methodology. Given desired PE, they assume that for each i and g, PIG are equals, are equals to this value. So uh, denote NIG as the data complexity needed in making decisions between KI and KG. Then they can construct the relation between PIG and NIG with their statistic models. Finally, the data complexity N is evaluated as the upper bounds of all these NIGs. One can see that these two places make the methodology inaccurate. In their work, they propose three different attack settings. The direct attack setting is the aforementioned one, where the key space is divided according to each correlation. In a basic re related key setting, a fixed key difference alpha is chosen. So in this case, the key space can be divided according to the differences between correlations evaluated under these re related key pairs. In this case, small key bits can be recovered. In the multiple related key setting, T differences which form a basis are chosen for each difference. We proceed to the basic related attack, and then we can obtain the guest key classes. So if all these attacks succeed, the red key key star must belong to the intersection of all these key classes. In this case, more key bits can be recovered. Now let's see our new methodology and statistical models. In our work, we adopt the following methodology. 
for each g, we depict clearly the distribution dg of t related to n when the red key key star belongs to the g's key class. Then we can compute pig with the CDF of dg and the delta function as, uh, and the descending rule of the delta function. So the final total error, pro error probability P can be evaluated as this. Let's take the uh, threshold-based uh, model in the direct uh, check setting as an example. Let N0 key records how many X fulfill the linear ha given N known data X. So this statistic T, as we all know, it follows the normal distribution DG which is related to the red key class, G. B is a constant determined by whether KP sampling or DKP sampling are adopted. Our threshold-based design function delta T works as follows. At first, we sort all these possible correlations CI in ascending orders. So delta T will output I if it locates in this interval and output zero here and output M plus one here. So let's see how to compute PIG. According to the definition of PIG, T follows from the, uh, this distribution DG and the dirty T will output I. So T locates in this interval. So this probability can be evaluated by its CDF. We made, a, uh, we made experimental verifications of these threshold based models. In our experiments, we use 256 round kit permutation of tiny gen bool, and the linear high used is this one. It contains four different trials involving different key bits and with has different correlations. Let E key denotes the XOR value of these key bits. Then the whole key space can be represented as the, these three bits. So according to its different correlation, we can uh, divide this key space into four different key classes. So key information can then be recovered using our statistical models. From this two, uh, from the top figure, one can see that our uh, our uh, experimental PE confirm our threat, uh, theoretical PE. Most notably, our threshold based models, the absolute for our threshold based models. The absolute error between these two values is at most uh, is about 2%, while well, in the previous MRE-based model, it's more than 90%. The MRE-based statistical models can be constructed in a similar way. In this talk, let's, let's focus on the one constructed for the direct attack setting, and we only consider KP sampling in this talk. The third function third t will uh, the descending function third t will output i if and only if this inequality holds for any t that not equal to i. MRO denotes the maximum maximum likelihood function for t. So for each t, we can get its interval. By intersecting all the intervals together, one can get the final interval when third outputs i. So in this case, PIG can think be computed using the CDF of T. We also made experimental verifications on this MRE-based models. From these two figures, one can see that our MRE-based models can reduce the error probability into a uh, can reduce the absolute error between these two values into at most 2%. Compared with our threshold-based models, it's slightly more press, but uh, much slower to compute. Okay, let's see our application on Tanning Jambu. Tanning Jambu is an AEAD uh, designed by Wu and Huang. It supports three different key bits, uh, key types, key lenses. In each round, a uh, key permutation PB is used. PB will shift all this 128 bit state to the right, and the most significant bit Z can be computed as this. Know that there's one key bit involved. In our work, we will focus on the last permutation of the final finalization phase. Uh, in this, uh, in this uh, R1 equals to 384 84 in the first version, where it's 
640 in the second version. In our work, we will try to find linear holes containing bits only involved in this T0 and T1 and try to recover some key bits. At first, let's see how to evaluate the correlation of a linear tube for tiny jambu. This figure shows one, one round update of the states. This blue symbols denote one bit mask values since there is only one and gates. So the relation between these mask values can be easily constructed. For the R round tree, masks in each round is fixed. So one can, one, one, one can represent this tree into the X or R value of these equations. We proved that it equals to 15, uh, to the X or R value of 15 distinct FS. All FS has this form, uh, this similar form. Note that in FS, these AND gates may be chained together since these mask values can be one. So FS contains several boiling functions with chained AND gates. So the correlation evaluation of the linear tree is equivalent to evaluating the correlation of this FS. And the core in this procedure is to evaluate the correlation of F. Know that F is a chain and gates, and it has n uh, chain and gates. The relation between n and the and its absolute correlation has been constructed by Song and all. Since in our case we have to know its uh, sign, so we follow a similar procedure and get the following relation. Know that we have to also have to know which key bits are involved in the linear tree, so the relation can be constructed. To find all trees in the given linear hub, we adopt a common procedure. At first, we built a MRP model M searching for one linear tree with the aim of minimizing the active end gates. If we get a solution, we can Re-evaluate its correlation using these two, using these two conclusions. So, if correlation of this trio is not zero, we will add it to a list. Meanwhile, we will add extra constraints to remove this solution sigma out of the uh, solution set of M. Finally, we can get all trios with the with this procedure. We found a 394 round linear half for Tiny Jambu, and it contains 850 trials. Details of these trials, correlation of these trials are detailed in this table. With this 394 linear half, we can mount key recovery attacks on four Tiny Jambu V1. Note that we can recover uh, 7 to, 5, uh, to 14 K bits. Uh, in the de, de, uh, in the design document, uh, the designers claim the uh, data limits, uh, which is the number of checks collected per key should be less than two to the power forty seven. To overcome uh, to overcome these data limits, we adopted a weak key multi user setting. In this setting, we collect checks from multiple users, and each user will have their own key, but with some bits in common. If we ignore this data limits, all our checks can be suitable for all kinases. Okay, let's conclude our talk. In our paper, we propose new statistic models based on a new methodology. Our new statistical models improve, improve their accuracy. With these statistical models, we mount partial key recovery attacks on the full and jump v1 and run reduce v2 in the non respecting setting. In future, we aim to find further applications of our models and try to investigate whether different masks can recover more key bits. Okay, thanks for your attention and any questions. Thanks, Ms. Hu, for your nice talk. Are there any questions in Beijing?
If there is none, then are there any questions in Kobe? So then I have uh, one question. When you talk in your conclusions about further applications, do you have uh, anything concrete in mind? Uh, sorry, you mean why I or, chose Tanjambu as a target? And uh, if you have further applications possible, what are they? Uh, sorry, I didn't quite understand your question. So you you say you 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 will seek further applications for your models. And the question is, do you have already a concrete target that you uh, want to focus on? No. Right? No. Okay. no other uh, no other concrete uh, ciphers so far. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Another another question. So if there is no other question, then let's thank Ms. Wu and all the speakers this session again. Thank you.